fourth quarter run with that second unit, Corey, and those guys. Just kind of expect that almost? No, I mean, they really played well. I thought that, you know, Rue had a ton of energy. Trev was all running the wings. Pablo was pushing it. Um, I thought Josh Smith had a couple big blocks at the rim that really um, ignited some stuff. And, you know, for the most part, we were able to um, do a decent job on the boards. You know, even with that group, we got steals, we got stops, we pushed, we attacked. We made a couple of big shots. We had some nice ball movement. It was fun to watch. Josh had the blocks, but he also started to break a bunch of times too. Is that just yeah? No, we really want that. I think I think when Josh, like you know, I think his next. I love when he pushes out, makes those like make those ahead passes. I really want to get him now and start throwing it out a little earlier than, than running hard and seeing getting it back. You know, some seams to attack. He's been really good. At it. I think our, I think our break is best when our bigs, I think, can defensive rebound it and get the push. It ignites all the guards to run a little bit faster. You don't have to ignite Brew. He's pretty much running all the time anyway. Do they have their way running pick and roll with Paul and Jordan in the second quarter? What was different in your mind in the second half? Well, we had tried a few things. The save didn't work very well. <laughs> we kind of went back to the old tried and true methods. We, we got, we got, we, we confused ourselves. We had, we tried to get kind of tricky on a few things. And, uh, we tripped ourselves into a bunch of DeAndre Jordan dunks. So uh, that, was not, <laughs> that was not too good. Uh, we cleaned up and, and simplified everything in the second half a little bit more, switched a few more things, and just tried to keep the ball in front of us. He, yeah, they already just kept getting separation. And it was always, it was one guy would make a mistake, and another guy would make a mistake, and a third guy would make a mistake, and then we'd do it right. And then another guy would make a mistake, and it was like, you know, it, that's the bad, that's 75% for them. And uh, we didn't, uh, we, I guess that probably got a little too, we, we, probably, we had different coverages and different sets, and, Probably, probably, we can probably just confuse everybody. Ourselves included. Putting Trevor on Chris Paul in the second half, did that allow you to keep it well, on? Well, that was one of our things we wanted to do, and then we wanted to switch that and try to keep uh, DeAndre Jordan uh, from getting anything in front of us, make him shoot over us, or make the guards try to shoot over the big. And, you know, Terrence, and, Terrence and, and Demo and Josh are all pretty good at moving their feet and keeping guards in front of them. So we, we kind of went back to both of by what we should have started off doing. James didn't have the best shooting night, but he was distributing the ball pretty well. How important is it for the rest of these guys to have like uh, the nights that they had tonight? Yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, we took 44 threes, made 17 now. So I mean, you know, we're, we're due to make a few. We got a lot of good open looks. Um, James just got to get the ball when there's two on, like two on the ball. It doesn't matter who's got two on the ball, whether it's James or whether it's Jason Terry, whether it's Pablo Pugioni. Just two on the ball, get off, and that's when they put two on the ball and he got off. And I think that at times. That doesn't allow you as an offensive guy maybe to get into a big rhythm because your shots are coming sporadically, but that's the way to play, play the game. And, you know, he had 10 assists tonight, and we did a pretty good job. I thought we, we held it a few times and tried to stretch it, but every time we just got off the ball, got the ball in the middle, that's how we got all those open threes. We got the ball in the middle, the big drove, took one dribble. They had to help off the corners, and we hit the corners on it. I mean, that, you know, so. Their, their defensive plan, which has been very good against us, is basically put two on the ball with James. And, uh, you know, I, 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 he just did a nice job of doing what we're supposed to do, which is you know, the ball. You like the other thing that he does when the shot is off, like the assists, the rebounds, and, and those kinds of things? Yeah, I mean, you know, he missed a few. I, I, thought, I thought he had three really good looks uh, in a row on corner threes and things that the catch and shoot threes that he's very, very good at. He just missed a couple of them. But the way, they're, the way they play them, he, they make him be much more of a ball mover than a shooter. And I thought we moved the ball pretty well. Uh, I thought there were times we got sticky again. I thought there were times we tried to, where we try to stretch something to see if, they, if, if, they're, if their scheme's going to break down. And I keep on telling them it's not going to break down. They're staying on until you get off the ball. When we got off the ball, again, like I said, the four, you know, three can't guard four, so we moved it, and that's why we were able to get. I thought of the 44 threes we had tonight, there were very few I thought that were really contested. I thought we had really good looks. When you talked to him after he turned his ankle, what was his reaction? What was that conversation? I just asked him, it was good to go. I said, you, you know, are you good to go? Are you ready to keep on going? He said, so I said, all right, that's good. Lace him up and let's go. You know, at, at that point, I, he looked like he, he looked like he sprained it pretty bad. Just thought, visually looking at it. And I thought, ooh, you know, he might not be able to come back from this one. But um, very, he's, he's really a tough kid. I mean, you know, he's, he's a tough young man. He's, he's, he, 
takes takes a lot of beating. You know, he's on the floor a lot. He gets knocked down, and uh, he's very resilient, very tough. So he just kind of sucked it up and played. Made a big three, made some free throws, and you know, kind of you know, pride at home. The realness is one game, but you beat them for the first time in a long time. Does it mean yeah. anything to you to switch? Sorry, does it mean anything to you at the state? Yeah, I mean we couldn't beat them. I mean it feels a hell of a lot better than getting beat by them. I mean they were just beating the tower out of us. I mean we had a heck of a time beating those guys. Uh, we had a heck of a time staying in the game with them to be truthful. I mean we were getting blown up a lot of those games. So it feels good to go up there. And I think you know we just played them a week ago or whatever our shit. We played them four or five games ago with them. I mean a month ago with all that break. But um, you know we we looked at a lot of stuff. Looked at film yesterday and. Normally I don't get into too much of um, let's just prepare to beat this team. Normally we're like this team will stress this part of our we kind of work on our our team our game all the time, but we really worked hard the last couple of days on just what it takes to beat the Los Angeles Clippers and, and uh, they've had our number. It was good to get that win. Thank you. Thank you.